Monday motivation, Monday motivation. Good morning, my beautiful people, my Monday morning tribe, the EVLers. Okay, you know yourselves. Now, one of the things that people struggle with a lot is this thing that we call overthinking. And it's a problem, but a lot of people, they are proud overthinkers. And you see, this overthinking is like sinking. You're thinking you six feet under, but you are so proud of a thinker. Like, okay, how does this work? Anyways, coming to that, I want to tell you the story now of my son. Now, uh, me and my boys, you know, we talk freely. Uh, so I remember one of the times when he was talking to me, I don't know what he was addressing. He kept saying, I feel like, I feel like. So I would say to him, for a man, you feel a lot, don't you? So I taught him to say, I'm not saying men mustn't feel or men mustn't cry. But I said to him, I think as a man, instead of feeling, because that's like naturally, that is what is made for women. How about I think? Because the moment you say I think, you can't say I think and you tell me what you feel. Your feelings, you are going to take them and take them up to your head and start thinking. And I think that's how men are. That's why men are logical. Uh, that's natural. And the other gender, for me, use the language, is emotional. That's natural as well. God made it that way. And there's a beauty of it. So let's be who we are. Anyway, so one of the things then uh, that my son spoke about, I looked at him and I said, you are an overthinker, aren't you? And he said, you know what? I think so. Can you help me overcome it? Or can you help me deal with it? I said, you don't like being overthinking. I said, uh uh-uh. Because the truth is, overthinking, I think it works with C-type personality people where there's a point where it works. There's a line to draw. You know, everything under the sun, there's good and bad about it. I think the good about it is when you are researching, when you are trying to find the answers, you're overthinking things, which helps you to think more critical, to open up, you know, to get to, to bigger and better answers, so to say. Now, overthinking in simple things where the speed and efficiency is needed, it holds you back, it always makes you come last and all that, that is not helping you. So, talking about that, so I started thinking to say, okay, now I need to help my son with this concern and give him answers with this concern. But seeing that this is such a pandemic, if you think of it, a lot of people overthink nowadays. Whatever that I found, let me share with you guys. So as I was scrolling and scrolling and uh, doing my sort of research, you know, then I came across the easiest answers of overthinking together with the research that I have, you know, I normally research and then I will summarize and put it together and say, okay, out of this, how do I simplify and sort of give, um, I would call it a literature review or let's say give answers to my research that I've packaged together. Let's simplify it and, you know, uh, give it to the people. So I came across um, this, which is what I want to share with you. You know, somebody who said, you know what, it took me two years to actually get to overcome overthinking. And I'll tell you this actually in three minutes. Let me see. So in three minutes. Now, how do you overcome overthinking? Now, here are the six points of how to overcome overthinking. Number one. Here's number one. The problem about overthinking. The problem, it says the problem is really a problem. The problem is really a problem. So meaning that that problem is not a problem. You are the problem. Now listen to this. It says most of your problems are problems. The way you think about them is the problem. So meaning that you need to change your thinking. The problem is not a problem, meaning that you need to change how you think about it. Do you understand? And it says 99% of the harm is caused in your head by you and your thoughts. It all starts up here. Whatever that you think here, up here can make or break you. Okay, most of the trouble comes from your thoughts and how you perceive things. Your own perception, your own ways of seeing things is actually a problem. You know, that problem is really a problem. Okay, only a small part comes from the actual situation and outcome. So, what is the conclusion, number one? The problem is really a problem, meaning that how you think is a problem. The problem is how you think. If you want to change or to overcome overthinking, you need to change how you think. Hmm, that's a tough one. Well, we'll find time and go go deep, deep into it because I think a lot of people need this information in order to change. 
The second thing that is very important, avoid self-rejection. Now, when you say to somebody, why didn't you do this? I know I wasn't going to get it right anyways. Right there and then you have rejected yourself. Why didn't you raise up for the cost? I think I was going to fail. Hmm. Don't you think you deserve that opportunity? You know what? Apply for it anyway, if it's a job. You don't think they will take you because other people are good enough or they've got better qualification. Hmm. Don't you think your article is good enough? Publish it anyway. Don't you think your story is good enough? Write it anyway. Don't you think they'll reply to your email? Send it anyway. Why didn't you send it? I know they were not going to reply. Oh my. Do you see what's happening? That's self-rejection. Okay, so this one is saying you overthink yourself into self-rejection. You don't do things because you are self-rejecting and then you think the world will reject you. So avoid self-rejection. That's the second one. The third one talks about silence and time. You know what? The truth is most problems are solved with more thinking. You already thought, thought it, thought, you know what that thing, think, thought, thought it, thought whatever what it is. You already thought, okay? Apply more thing. You already thought you came up with no solution or a crappy solution. Why are you thinking even more? Most of the answers, you know what, you find, you find in silence, in time, and with clear mind. Sometimes you just need to step back and see nothing and think nothing. And just visualize and see, okay, what is going on here? Don't think further, okay? They say, if you can't solve a problem, stop trying to solve it. Third one, remember the silence and time. All right. Now, the fourth one, power of now. Listen to this powerful quote. It says, you are not going to overthink your way to a better future. You are not going to overthink your way to a better future, okay? You are not going to overthink yourself to a better past. (laughs) All you have is what is now, okay? So what you do now can make right of your past and make good of your future. It boils back to your thinking. What you are thinking now, what you are doing now. The power of now. Now, that is number four. And then number five, which is very, very important. A lot of you overthink without knowledge, skill of what you are overthinking. That is very foolish, my friend. Fact check your thought, your own thoughts. Before you overthink, before you crucify yourself, before you decide this is how things are and kill yourself and reject yourself. Fact check. Is that really how it is? Look at facts. I know there are a lot of people who overthink and when you talk to them and they say, no, 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 you can't say that, it's a fact. And they say, no, 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 it's not fact. That's, bu- you are bullying us. I say, I'm not bullying you. The facts saying this. They say, no, you always come with facts in order to bully us. But facts are facts. Fact check. That's what will help you not to overthink. Okay. Your thoughts can create all the scenarios in your mind. That reflects what? Your insecurities, your fears, and your worries. So it's very, very important that you will always fact check your own thoughts before accepting them. Look at the facts. If they are not factual, then why are you, why are you, why are you forcing the scenario? Why are you accepting the scenario? Now talking about acceptance, the sixth one, acceptance is peace. Okay. There is no amount of anxiety that you create by overthinking that will change your future. No amount of anxiety will change your past. They say peace is found in what? In acceptance. Accept the imperfection. All right. Accept the uncertainty. And accept the controllable. Let me end my motivation by making this prayer to you that says, God, grant me the serenity to accept all things I cannot change. And they are there. You can't change it. Just accept it and move on. Okay, the courage to change those that I can. Fed check, and if you can do it, do it and change it. And that wisdom to know the difference. No book recommendation. Just go learn that prayer if you don't know it. Lord grant me the serenity. This is my Monday motivation, Dr. TP. Cheers. Stop overthinking. <laughs>